Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. What have I fucking told you, you stupid little shit? Be more nonchalant. He's, he's trying to fucking hard again. Come on, bring it in, bring it in. So one of my main jobs with the athletes is helping to create an aesthetically pleasing style that looks uncontrived. You know, it just looks way more marketable than someone who actually looks like they're trying. Oh, fuck yeah, that's the way, boy. Oh, now he's doing absolutely fuck all, and he's really focusing on how he looks, which is just perfect free surfing. It's actually quite a slog being a free surfer. Like, most days I have to wake up. And then there's the whole surfing thing. So it's just really nice to have someone by my side and in my corner. It's like every time I see you out there, you've got way too many chalons. It's about having less chalons. Like, yeah, I've been trying really hard to have less chalons, but I just don't know what it means. You've got to just work on being fucking relaxed, all right? Just be way more relaxed than you are, like that guy. Deep into the solar plexus, come on, mate. Three more, count it down, count it down. Three, deep, deep breath, come on, bring it in. Stay fucking zen, mate, stay fucking zen. Come on, you got this. Two more. Yeah, so coaching free surfers is actually a lot harder because, I mean, obviously they lack the talent, uh, mental fortitude, ability, stamina, talent, coordination. Definitely had dreams and aspirations to being a competitive surfer. Basic intelligence, education, problem solving ability, And that burning fire from within that makes them want to achieve goals, like competitive surfers do. But, um, you know, judges and fucking like big corporations and shit like that, fuck them. So that's why we have to focus on things outside of the water that make them seem more interesting and worthwhile watching. I mean, you take guys like Kanoa Igarashi and Felipe Toledo, phenomenal surfers, but do you think they could correctly compose a grainy blurry photo of an inanimate object? It's gonna look fucking sick at your next exhibition, mate. Come on, dig deep, couple more. Yeah, so Luke's got this like sick acnerum that I sort of use as like a mantra that just keeps me in that driving force of being a free surfer. It's um, BLM, which is obviously boards, looks, and marketability, which is the reason why I ride asymmet asymmet uh, lopsided boards, because it gives me a point of difference and sets me apart from all the other guys that are doing the exact same thing as I am. I was actually destined to be a professional free surfer myself. Unfortunately, I suffered a, a, a tragic male pattern baldness incident when I was younger and lost all my hair, which is obviously your main marketable selling attribute, being a professional free surfer. So now I just like to pass on my knowledge and expertise to the next generation. My goal is to be the world's best free surfer and I'm willing to do whatever it takes, as long as it's not too hard and what I see in McKenzie, like, I, I definitely think he has what it takes to be the world's best free surfer and just really compete with these other guys that aren't competing. Yeah, like the world tour surfers, you know, like sure they're amazing surfers, but like can they even DJ? 